Hey guys, it's Jay and in Jay's brain. Today I'm going to show you how to speed up your computer really quick, free. I've been having some of these little issues going along in my older computer that I've been using for rendering now and finding out that this little guy is yelling at me about my Windows Manager monitoring is not playing too fair. Now this will help you with your games and actually a lot of anything that you do because, you know, Windows 7 unfortunately has just kind of went a little overboard on their desktop theme idea. Uh, and we'll show you there as we go. You see the warning here. Now that little warning, it's telling you what's going on. Kind of says, hey, you've been, get, you've been making this thing work way too hard and we're failing and we could probably do better. So I'm going to show you how to do better. Okay, so first off, you gotta find it. And finding these things when you don't have the little pop-up that I did is a lot harder than you'd like to think because you're looking all through here going, okay, well, I'll go system security or you know, appearance and personalization, and it's all no. Um, up in this little stupid thing, all control panels, you gotta hit control panel items anyway. So performance information and tools, pop into that little bad boy. Oh, it looks like it puts you right back and you're like, what? No, but just uh, hit the adjust visual effects and then you're back inside. First things first, um, the page file. Now, that page file is actually kind of small. Um, page file, basically it's like another cache or it uses the hard drive as RAM or part of the hard drive as RAM as it's holding information, you know, that's not necessarily needed right now but will be soon and so it tries to make it a little quicker okay the quick way to speed up your computer is just by increasing that and it's really odd that Windows 7 you know allocates 5 gigs but it recommends 8 and so why don't we change that to a custom size and but for the we will make we'll make the maximum size 10 gigs and the initial size 8 gigs because how it says it's the minimum loud there is 16 so Windows 7 will start that now check this out okay just for best performance okay oh for best performance it clicks every single one of those off now that just really sucks simply because it looks like total crap you know, if you le left all this off, wait for this to come back and look like, yep, Windows 98 SE. So we definitely don't want to go that far down. So let's go back in there. And you can just play around with it what you want to do. Um, for me, when I'm editing, I, I like to see the photos, so the thumbnails and whatnot, and you can find those. Right there, I just clicked three or four. just to change it back to looking kind of more like a Windows 7 or at least a new wow there it is okay here's another little way to get even more out of your computer um, always recommend this go to and type in MS config at that it comes up tells you, you know, gives you a normal selection, diagnostic, or selective. Now you notice when yours will still say normal, select a startup. Um, leaves all device drivers and services. See, I've already went through and went to my startup thing and turned a bunch of these off. Um, basically ones that I don't need. And I'm turning some more off as I'm in here because really I don't. I uh, just installed iTunes again. I had to reformat, or had to, no, I reformatted anyway. Um, and I just wanted to kill some of the, you know, the Microsofts. Kill Skype, it doesn't need to start at first thing. Um, you know, you can, you can read the commands and all that. Find out where it is. Microsoft, another app roaming. But we want to keep that one actually. Um, UA, that's for Samsung. Kill that. 
you don't need to have that running in the background. All these guys are starting up right when your computer starts. Uh, totally not needed for the most part. I mean, of course, you want your antivirus there and Avast. It's a free antivirus. It's quite good. I've tested it on many other, uh, against many other products. If you have McAfee or Norton's, throw it away and get Avast free. You can also pay like 20 bucks a year for their uh, even better antivirus. It gets updated daily for the most part every single day. Anyway, so after we go in there, we have services. These you can you can actually play with now as long as you remember what you've turned off and what you've turned on. All the ones that'll turn off after it goes will be on the bottom. And you can go through and, and change these and mess around with them. Boot menu, I wouldn't have I wouldn't recommend you mess with this at all um, because you can make it your computer not to boot uh, no more. A lot of times it'll pop up and say you need to reboot before it gets started. Um, since that's not it, it's not telling me this time, I'm going to reboot anyway. And then after that, we will, after we boot up, I will run the Nova scores again. We'll see how that rolls it pans out and yeah uh, continue making this a little faster a little bit at a time you know this way I'm not I'm not making you go really deep into your computer this is a super easy quick way to make your computer quicker um, it'll boot up faster you won't be loading a bunch of crap in the back um, especially you know if you have kids or whatnot and they install programs or yourself I guess um, if you install programs and you just hit next, 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 uh, bad things. And if that's the case and you have like a ton of garbage on your computer or on your internet, you got a bunch of toolbars that you can't even hardly read anymore, uh, I'll show you a real quick easy way to get that out is you go in and hit start menu, menu go to the control panel, uninstall a program, it pushes all these up here. If you come back after your kids have been on it and you have pop-ups everywhere, this right here, folks, is the place to go. And make sure when you hop in here, hop over on the Installed On tab because it won't be linked or listed this way. So you'll want to do that so you have the brand new stuff listed first so you don't have to dig through all this garbage. Makes it quite easy to uh, just double-click it and bam, it's gone works out all right okay so now you might be asking okay great and good all oh, that's that's pretty neat Jay but um, how am I gonna be able to tell if this is actually gonna do any better here's a quick free uh, little benchmarking tool that you know you really you don't have to have a badass benchmarking tool to figure out you know to see your improvements but you definitely need something better than the Windows garbage that they have going on there. Uh, anyway, so you go to Nova Bench, Doug, or just type that in Google and uh, you can find it and download it. Make sure to close. See, now I want to get real world benchmarks here too where it's going to be running the programs and some of you know, so I want real world results where I the stuff that I have running in the background are running in the background already. I don't want to shut everything off and then get these one results when really it's not. So we'll keep the antivirus going and you know that that's just going to be how I'm benchmarking everything. And this test you know hardly takes any time really. It gives you enough information to see what's improving um, and I'm going to continue using this as uh, I go through some overclocking tutorials later all right, we're just gonna zip through this real fast and finish it up because it does a few little tests. It it tests their graphics right here. Drivers are just better. It's all around. But so you can see that score, 762. That's my very base score. You know, look at the RAM. You can see all that. Now we'll compare. You know, I'm not gonna bother comparing that. So because that's just my base score. I just wanted to see what it gives. It gives you floating points, the integer operations, you know, hash, uh, the MD5 hash generated. Just, it, the main thing is just to look at the numbers 
and see what's improving, what's not. Uh, but as you see, this is, you know, kind of poopy, really. I mean, it is actually super poopy considering my gaming rig has uh, a Nova Bench score of a 1667. So this is an old, you know, PC. But it's been my workhorse for a really long time, and it was great when uh, I built it. So I will show you all my baseline from my baseline up to I took everything off of it. Uh, I'll, I'll give you that number so you, you know what it's capable of just with taking that off. Um, then I will go back and click a few of the items on there that I wanted to make it look more Windows 7 ish and uh, better and go back in there and give you those you know and since I did this and I went in and rendered um, a show actually that indie show that I did I rendered that one with the commentary on the computer that I adjusted this computer um, went back into uh, through the other one without commentary over into this Intel quad core that I have it's also a it's a 775 chip so it's it's an older chip as well but it used to kick the crap out of this AMD and not any longer I mean it, it practically it could have rendered it twice uh, so it definitely picked that up and I was pretty happy with that just for these tiny little adjustments and I haven't even started overclocking this thing yet well I have but I mean for this, I mean, I, I started everything at base, and so then we're just going to slowly work up. Have a great night. This is Jay for NJ's Brain, and I'll see you next time.